In this video, I want to show you how to create a new project for UI kit, which is using a storyboard and then remove the storyboard reference so that we can ourselves start the application in a way that we want with our, with a view controller. For example, if you want to have a uh, Swift UI view as the starting point of your application. The interesting thing is we will use the app delegate and scene delegate classes and they can be used for iOS 13. So instead of making a Swift UI app, we would use this approach to also support iOS 13. The other reason why you would want to do this is if you have a different, if you want to, for example, use the coordinate pattern. Okay. I here am now creating a new project and from the um, templates, I will use the iOS app because using this kind of templates will create some boilerplate or default, some pre-prepared files or code. If you always want to create your project in a specific way, you might find yourself repeating certain codes, then it's also useful to create some kind of templates. Uh, but this is a topic for another video. So then I press next, then I give this a name. I need to hear, this is the important thing, specify storyboard because otherwise I get into my SwiftUI app with the SwiftUI lifecycle. I don't need a core data or unit tests for this test and then press next and create it. Now this generated me some code and it's currently using a storyboard, which is pretty empty with this one view controller. And there's also some settings in the info P list and in the project settings we have to change in order to actually get rid of the storyboard. And the first one is obviously I don't want to use this file. So I delete the main dot storyboard file, move to trash. Then in the project settings under main interface, I'm going to remove the main and then I'm going in the info P list. This is some default settings. And here, if you look in the scene configuration, we have the storyboard name in there. So basically it's saying we are using the default configuration and we are using the scene delegate for each of the scenes and we are starting with this, this storyboard. So I have to remove the storyboard because I don't want to start from there. So this entry has to go. Now, just as a side note, we have here two classes that are important for starting our application and also running for the main life of our application. One is the app delegate. So this is when the whole application starts and then we have the scene delegate. Before iOS 13, these were together, but the scene delegate, because the app delegate becomes so big, they decided to split it up in two. And if you're on the iPhone, you probably really don't care about the scene delegate, but for people who are working on iPad apps with two scenes or multiple scenes, you have multiple instances of your app running um, side by side on the iPad. This is only the case if you're actually here um, supporting supporting multiple windows. Uh, then you will see that you have for each of these scenes of instances of your app, you have two scenes in your on your iPad screen side by side, and for each of them, you have one instance running for the scene delegate. Both of the scenes share then one app delegate. Okay, so but in our case, it's probably not so interesting. But I said when your application launches, the app delegate runs and then it's going in the scene delegate to create a scene. Previously, we did use here the storyboard to launch the application or the scene. But now we have to in the function scene will connect to a session or self configure the window that we want to show. Here's a reference to this window. So I'm going to um, maybe just for simplicity, use instead of this view controller um, a Swift UI view. So I'm going to remove this and then I'm creating here a content view. So new file, Swift UI view, content view. I'm just leaving here the hello world default text. And now in my scene delegate, I want to start this window and I want to populate the scene and put my content view in the scene. If you have worked with SwiftUI for a while, you might have seen this code, which is not used anymore. So first I have to, from my uh, scene, UI scene, cast this into a window scene. So if let window scene is my scene as a UI window scene. And now I can create a window from this UI window 
from window scene. I need to store a reference to this window and they, that's why they already created here this property to hold on to it. So I can assign my scene delegates window to the window that I just created. And then in order to actually make it visible and make it the top one, I have to call on it make key and visible. So the hint already says makes the window, shows the window and makes it the key window. This is, if you think of a macOS app, we have model to, then you actually see this. So you can create multiple windows and some of them are on top uh, of the other one. So one of the, the one on the top, the one that is active, that's the key window. For an iPhone app, it's probably the running app, let's just say. Okay, now I have created this window and I have called the reference to it, but I never put my content view on it. So this window has a root view controller property where I can set the view controller that is, that is displayed. Now I said I want to use Swift UI, so I have to use a UI kit wrapper, which is the UI hostings controller with a root view and this is a Swift, this can be a Swift UI view, so I can use the content view. So now I can run this project. And if you see the hello world text appearing, you know it's actually working and it goes in here. So you saw it's actually quite, or it's not that much of an effort. You just need to know where you're looking for. So we changed here this one entry to main interface. We removed the storyboard from the info P list and we removed the storyboard file because it was, it's becoming obsolete. And in order to start to actually show something, we had to adapt our scene delegate to the view controller or the view that we want to show. Instead of here a um, hosting controller for the coordinator pattern, we would start with creating the coordinator and starting the coordinate, the main coordinator. In case you are in a situation that you're quite often creating the same structure of project, then maybe creating a template for it would be interesting. So maybe have a look at the other videos that I made about the coordinator pattern and Xcode templates. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. It's very helpful in order for YouTube to show more people what I do. Until next time, happy coding.